Hey, it is uh, April 17th. Happy birthday to Maynard James Keenan of Tool Perfect Circle and also Pusifer. He's actually uh, doing a show, I think, at uh, Desert Sky Pavilion or whatever it's called these days. And I think it's uh, Perfect Circle and Primus. And da, 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 da. what's the other one? Uh, I just said it. Pusifer. They're all on stage at the same time sharing the bill for a 60th birthday party. So that's cool that Maynard doing that here in the Valley of the Sun. They call it Phoenix, Arizona. We call it, well, Phoenix, Arizona as well. We are an independent record store located in uh, beautiful Gilbert, Arizona. Just about uh, uh, skip uh, maybe a three wood from Phoenix. Uh, if you're not a very good uh, golfer, well, then you're probably going to need a one wood, a titanium one wood. So, but we are uh, hanging out here. Hi, this is me. We've got, uh, I'm going to put that there because i got a Van Halen story for you. Audrey is, uh, is, is producing and Jen is back at Command HQ. We are inundated with Record Store Day titles. It's insane. We have the uh, new Pearl Jam record sitting here. This is, this is unmarked. So this doesn't have a hype sticker, ironically, Audrey. That is uh, Dark Matter. And that is the silver and black galaxy variant of the record that is actually sold out uh, unfortunately so we're all sold out of that what else we got Ooh, look at this i found we'll have this for tomorrow night i love this game my favorite game of all time the original soundtrack is this on red vinyl might be on red vinyl i'm not sure oh it is red vinyl awesome and then uh, we also have the record store day version of their new album which is also on color vinyl so we're sold out of every other version except the Record Store Day version because we can't sell that yet. So anyways, if you're a Pearl Jam fan, come out for Record Store Day. Nine o'clock, we open on, what is it, uh, Saturday, 9 a.m. So you don't have to get up too early um, to come see us. I mean, some record stores are getting up. They're opening really early. I salute, but come on, man. Let's just get out, have a good time all the time. So. Anyways, there you go. If you're uh, joining us uh, for the 18th time, thank you very much. Appreciate you tuning in. And if you're joining us for the first time, that is very cool. I would uh, love to have new people come on the show. We've got uh, some really cool stuff. We've got like a pretty in pink. We've got Ronnie James Dio stuff, some awesome stuff. All the stuff, the pretty in pink. We got Cinderella. We got Rat. We've got uh, the Dio. There's more. I I'm forgetting. I uh, bought a collection. It was in unbelievable condition. It was fantastic. Most of it is, I mean, and they're all OGs, and it looks like they're brand new anyway. So we're going to get to that in just two shakes of a lamb's tail. And then um, I wanted to mention a, a couple of things. Um, I know Jen will let you know if uh, if there's any issues with, uh, if, if you're a first-time buyer or anything like that. And we send out invoices every Saturday morning. So if you buy anything tonight, or if you buy anything uh, tomorrow night or Friday night, because we do this Wednesday, Thursdays, and Friday nights. It's very fun. It's very cool. It's exciting sometimes. Uh, Audrey sometimes will have a story for me, which is always fantastic. And then Jen will always help us answer any questions we have. And that's that's awesome as well, because Jen is my uh, non-incompetent Wikipedia. She, is, uh, she knows it all, especially when it comes to music. So... There you go. But yeah, so uh, if you end up uh, ordering some stuff from us and you're not local, it's a flat $7 shipping rate. So you can basically pile up stuff for a week. Then we send out invoices on Saturday morning. You got a week to pay them. And if you don't pay them, then boom, those go back into the auctions. Uh, and uh, we uh, waggle our finger at you and saying, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Wait, reverse that, whatever. I don't know. You get the idea. Anyways, it's fantastic. The good news is everybody that uh, usually orders from us, except in a rare occasion, uh, always uh, wants their stuff because it's the good stuff. All right, Audrey's giving me the thumbs up. She's, I think she's given it to me like uh, like three or four times now. So anyways, all right, we'll get started here. We got uh, a really cool crate of uh, pre-owned vinyl, and we've got some new restocks that came in. Well, actually, I'm gonna, this isn't a restock. Uh, this Van Halen, 1984. That's in excellent condition. Well, we'll just start off with that. Van Halen, excellent condition. It's a 84 European press. So very cool. It actually has the, uh, it not only has the, uh, in Europe, they uh, did the uh, little uh, spine uh, writing on the side, and they also do it on the top, which is kind of fascinating. Anyways, a beautiful copy. It's $59. 
if you're interested. The, the jacket itself is, oh my God. I mean, it's just insane. Anyway, so that's uh, that'll be our first record of the night. So in case you're interested in the mighty Van Halen. Actually, I heard they're doing a uh, Van Halen behind the music. Not Van Halen. They're doing a Wolfgang behind the music. Uh, VH1 is, or Paramount Plus is resurrecting that. So that's kind of uh, fun, in my humble opinion. Look at this copy of Pretty in Pink. I know we're past Valentine's Day, but for your better half, uh, and this is obviously a John Hughes movie. This uh, vinyl is in excellent condition. It's $59. It is the most beautiful copy of this record I've ever seen. So very cool. If you're interested, let's see. OMD's on here. We got uh, In Excess. Oh, nice. Psychedelic Furs, New Order. Wow. Anyways, yeah, Echo and the Bunnymen, The Smiths. Audrey loves The Smiths. She's wearing a Cure shirt today, though, so take that for what it's worth. Pretty in Pink is going to Amy. Amy, nice job. Grabs the Pretty in Pink after picking up the... Amy actually picked up the uh, Slippery When Wet we had, the Japanese press. So jealous. Uh, Jen uh, wanted that as well. But, you know, our rule is we put it in the store first, and if nobody buys it, then we get access to it. We usually give it probably about a month for someone to get access to it. I know a lot of people online will, like, flex, like, hey, this came into the store, and I'm putting it in my own collection and stuff. We don't we do not do that. I get it. I'll, I'll, I'll salute for them, but it's just not our style. Um, yeah, so if, but I'm, I'm super jealous of that one, Amy. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Uh, pretty in pink, $59. We also got, uh, planes, trains, and automobiles still, and some kind of wonderful, uh, to boot that's on the wall behind me. This is the Grateful Dead. It's $14. It's a VG plus plus copy of Terrapin Station. Very nice. Obviously you got some ring wear there, but yeah, there you go. Ted Nugent. That is uh, double live. This is an excellent copy on the vinyl. And the actual jacket's got a little bit of ring wear, but not too mad, bad. The Motor City Madman with pretty much, and Ted is live great, man. Is Fred Bear on this record? I love that song. A buddy of mine was like uh, telling me about Fred Bear some probably 25 years ago. Oh, Great White Buffalo's on here. Though. That's the one I'm thinking of, but Fred Bear's a good song too. But Great White Buffalo is my jam. We had two people comment for the Grateful Dead. Jason was first. All right. Jason grabs the Grateful Dead. Thank you, Jason. Second on the list was uh, Glenn. So, but yeah, so Jason grabs the uh, Grateful Dead. So yeah, Double double Gonzo Live, that is uh, $14. Beautiful copy. It's so rare to see that uh, nice of a copy come in. This is Super Tramp. This is Breakfast in America. It's a VG copy, but the jacket's really nice. And VG is in our grading is very good. You know, you're going to have some, you maybe have a few light scratches that shouldn't affect play that much. There may be a little crackling and stuff. There might be some scuffs and some hairlines. But other than that, and then VG plus would mean that there's maybe a few scuffs and hairlines. VG plus plus, maybe a few hairlines shouldn't affect any play. And then basically excellent means that this thing looks like it just came off the assembly line, baby. The Henry Ford assembly line or the Tesla uh, assembly line or whatever whatever car company you prefer. REO Speedwagon. This is the live record. We had this, uh, I think, uh, about a week ago or so. And I think Randy, if memory serves, picked this one up. This is a VG++ copy. Another copy came into the store. It's $14 for REO Speedwagon. That is Cat Stevens' greatest hits, a VG copy for $9. I've never been into Cat Stevens, but the more I listen to Cat Stevens, the more I kind of like him. So what are you going to do? All right. This is a beautiful copy of Out of the Cellar. This is in excellent condition. It is $49. We just sold another copy of Out of the Cellar today. So we're down to one again. This is, uh, everybody talks about the great debuts of all time. Now, I granted the Rat Record, the EP, which we actually have in tonight's show, is, um, I know it's it's not really a full length album, so but I would put this record up there with all those, you know, Van Halen one, Appetite for Destruction, Boston's first record, Led Zeppelin's first record. This was a great record by Rat, forty nine dollars. The jacket is wow, it's pristine, and the and the vinyl is excellent, so very nice. Uh, this is uh, Elton John Blue Moves. It's a two record set, nine dollars. It's a pre owned vinyl. 
not sure. I'm not really familiar with this one from Elton, but Elton's put out a lot of uh, records over the years. You know what's really cool, though, from Elton? The Caribou is getting a re-release on Blue Vinyl for Record Store Day. That's at the store now. We pretty much have everything in now. Oh, my God. That looks really, really cool. And I always think that album kind of looks like a joke to me. I don't know if you know the cover of that record. But, wow. I'm like, that's fantastic. So, anyway, something to uh, aspire to on Record Store Day. I hope you'll be joining us if you're local. And then if you're not, you can obviously order online. And that is uh, on what is that Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern, 5 a.m. Pacific slash Arizona time. Audrey? Sorry, uh, Roger is going to take the Ted Nugent. Ooh, Roger grabs Ted Nugent. Cool. Dave is taking Rat. All right, cool. Ted Nugent goes to Roger, and Dave grabs the uh, fantastic Out of the Cellar copy from 84. What a great year for music that was. 1984, man. These guys set the template, I swear. And everything that followed was just... Anyways, I'll stop. It was just fantastic year for music. Uh, this is uh, Sticks the Grand Illusion. It's a VG copy on the vinyl. Uh, the jacket's in real nice condition. It is $9. Ted Nugent, uh, once again, free for all, baby. It's a VG Plus copy. It's $9. What's on uh, Dog Eat Dogs on here? Obviously, free for all is on here. Mm, I don't know any of the other songs on here. But, yeah, I mean, Ted was just huge in the late 70s, man. The Texas Jam, though, remember that legendary show? And there he is again, the Motor City Madman. Cat Scratch Fever, VG Copy. This one's nine dollars. What's on this record? Uh, I don't know these. Oh, Wang Dang, uh, Wang Dang, Sweet Poontang is on here. I'm looking for uh, Fred Bear, or Great White Buffalo. It's not on that record though. But yeah, that that monster riff at the beginning of Great White Buffalo. Oh my god! Oh my god! And that's on the live record. So very cool. Um, so Roger, yeah, turn that one up, buddy boy. This is Cinderella. This is Night Songs. This is a I, I'm gonna every once in a while I say this, but this is a beautiful copy. It's seventy nine dollars. It's an excellent condition. This is a hell of a debut too. It's got "Shake Me" on it. Nobody's fool. Somebody save me, which is probably my favorite um, Cinderella song. I know these guys had the hair back then, but these guys. I mean, Tom Kiefer was a monster when it came to uh, playing. So just the most immaculate version. Of I'm, I don't mean to overhype things, but this is just a beautiful copy of uh, Night Songs. So, anyways, excellent condition, seventy nine dollars for Cinderella's um, debut um, album. Glenn oh, Glenn's grabbing food for all. All right, very, very cool. Oh, Amy, Amy, you're scoring your youth. Not that uh, I, I'm sure, Amy, you're probably, what, 24, right? I understand, you know, maybe not, uh, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, very cool, Amy. Amy grabs uh, Cinderella. Larry was second. Hey, Larry, how you doing? All right, let me pull the uh, Night Songs, man. I asked Jennifer, I said, how's our copy of Night Songs? She's like, it's good, but not as good as the copy you got in the store. So, yeah, once again. Uh, the double-edged sword of us uh, going ahead and um, selling stuff uh, to you guys, uh, making it available to you guys before anyone else. This is, yes, this is Fragile. This is a VG copy. This is $9. Got some uh, wear on the jacket. Obviously, one of their iconic records, a VG condition on that bad boy. I'll hand you these records, uh, the Ted Nugent. Oh, there, oh, I'm coming over here. Okay. There you go. Sorry, Audrey. Oh, also a Van Halen uh, that we have. We have this uh, uh, 24 karat gold disc still. It is uh, from the original mastered tape. So if you're a CD connoisseur, you know that these are super premium versions. And this is Van Halen 1. It's $129. It's pricey, but you're not going to find a better copy on CD. That is um, not even close, actually. This is the Moody Blues on the Threshold of a Dream. It's uh, $9. VG++ copy if you're into the Moody Blues. I like some Moody Blues, probably more 80s stuff because that's when I was, uh, that's when it was all about, uh, hang on a second. Some of the stuff is, um, hang on, I might have to, some of the stuff that got uh, priced in here. Oh, yeah. Did you pull the stuff, Audrey, that? Anyway, sorry. I just want to make sure there's not some stuff in here that uh, 
that we price that we haven't priced yet. So <laughs> that makes no sense. But yeah, anyways, so we might come to some stuff that I need to pull because uh, it might have been put in the wrong bin because it hadn't been priced yet. Uh, but we'll see. Bananarama, this is a, a, a seven inch single, not a seven inch. What am I saying? It's 12 inch single. It's a beautiful copy. And this is uh, really saying something. And it's backed with, uh, I can't read that on the back side. What is that? This is like the worst font ever. I Amawa. I, I'm not sure on that. So anyways, if you're in the Bananarama, it's $9. Excellent copy on the vinyl. Crosby Stills Nash. This is Allies. An excellent copy of this record. Beautiful. $9. Who is this? This is Penrod. This is a VG Plus copy. Well, this is actually Penrod. It's, it's Tim Dow. And it's uh, a VG plus copy. There you go. We've got, uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> it's Cher, half breed. Look at that. Cher on the horse from back in the day. VG copy, $9 for Cher. Uh oh. And then what's up next? Oh, we got Stevie Wonder in square circle, VG copy for $5. Very cool. Love Stevie. My first exposure to Stevie, Jen was exposed to Stevie a lot younger. Uh, so she knows like the really, really good stuff from Stevie. My, uh, my first experience with Stevie was part-time lover, or maybe that's what friends are for. I'm not sure. Uh, this is Dio. This is a beautiful copy. Once again, there's a little bit of corner wear and a little bit, yeah, a little bit of corner wear there on the corners. That's about it. It's an 83 pressing. It's $79. It's a VG plus plus copy. And uh, yeah, is this Ronnie James Dio's best record with Vivian Campbell, Carmine, is it Carmine Apice or Vinny Apice or Carmine Apice, I forget. And then Jimmy Bain, who passed away a number of years ago, unfortunately. And obviously, Ronnie's not with us anymore, but a beautiful copy of Dio, VG++ copy, $79 for Dio. We got more Dio. This is Dream Evil. This is $49. The vinyl is in excellent condition. Another 80s album from Ronnie. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful copy. I mean, there's a little bit of corner wear, a little bit of uh, edge wear there on the top. But other than that, fantastic. These are really kind of hard records to find. Well, actually quite hard to find, um, at least these days. And Dio, actually, the picture discs that's coming out for Last in Line is super cool. It's a Zoropa. I can't even say it. It's really cool, but we're really limited on those. And there's a last in live, live concert on a picture disc. Now, picture discs, Ronnie James Dio and The Cure, they love picture discs. Not so much me, but anyways, it, uh, oh, Audrey's got something for oh, me. I'm sorry, I'm going to say later today. Which, last in line. oh, last in line. Wait, last in what? The last in line. Yeah, this is, I haven't even mentioned it yet, though. So. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then finally, uh, we have another Dio, it's Sacred Heart, coming up. I think it's in here somewhere. I need to find it. This is uh, the third Dio of the night. This is the last in line. The vinyl is in excellent condition. It's got a little bit of edge wear on the side there. But all, all in all, it's a beautiful copy. And it is $49 for the last in line. One of the first Dio that you showed. Oh, Holy, Holy Diver? Yeah. All right, cool. So Larry grabs Holy Diver. Very, very cool. Congrats, Larry. Are you, have Do we know Larry, uh, Audrey? Do we know Larry's? I don't think so. So Larry, if you're a first time user, you can make sure you head on over to uh, Rock This Town Records and hit the uh, create an account or log in, sign up, and then uh, put in all your information. There's no passwords. Our, our password system is great because there's no password. It just, just sends you an email and then you... Uh, you get the code and boom, and you're logged in. So I love that about technology. And we are all about kind of technology, especially with the website. So maybe it's not cutting edge, but it's pretty darn close. Anyway, so once again, Dream Evil, $49. The Last in Line, $49. Excellent copy on that. This is the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. Another copy that's in excellent condition. Glenn Fry, Patti LaBelle, the Pointer Sisters. They're actually doing another Beverly Hills Cop for Netflix, I heard. Comes out, I think, 4th of July or something. Enter it. Anyways, $5. But, yeah, really nice copy of the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. The Heat is On. 
let's see, uh, Emergency, um, Neutron Dance. Very nice. Oh, Danny Elfman's got a song on here called Gratitude. That's always fun. And then the Axel F song from Harold Poltemeyer. This is the Isley Brothers. This is $5, a VG copy. Go for your guns. We've got Guy, Gordon Lightfoot, $5, VG plus copy. We've got, well, what else? VG plus plus copy, $5 of Gordon Lightfoot as well. And more Gordon Lightfoot, $5, VG plus copy. More Guy and Gordon. <laughs> VG plus plus five bucks. I guess you can build your Gordon Lightfoot collection. You want to build out your Gordon Lightfoot collection tonight, Audrey? Not she really said yes. No, she no. You didn't say what you said. You said yes. <laughs> if you could read my mind, Audrey, then you would know Gordon Lightfoot. This is a VG copy for five dollars as well. We'll uh, do a run through on these records one more time, and then we'll move on to some new vinyl back in stock. Well, not that much. We got a big uh, shipment coming in tomorrow, but a little stuff uh, tonight. And then uh, we've got another bin of kind of pretty cherry uh, uh, pre owned vinyl. I mean, we've been getting some just amazing stuff in lately, and I, I love it. So thank you to uh, the local community for uh, giving us uh, some of the best damn uh, music that I've ever seen in my life, including some of the stuff tonight, like Pretty in Pink and Cinderella. Um, sorry, uh, two things will claim for Beverly Hills Cop, but Amy was first. All right, Amy grabs uh, the uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Oh, there it is. All right, got it. The Isley Brothers, all right, cool. There's Beverly Hills Cop for Amy, and Michael's gonna grab the Isley Brothers. All right, cool. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. And as always. All right, so one more time through. This is a, a wonderful European press of Van Halen, 1984, $59. These guys, man, just so good, man. But what's funny about uh, Van Halen, especially when Sammy, they, they were never big in Europe or pretty much the rest of the world. Maybe in Japan, they were pretty big. We had that copy of, uh, I think, who bought that? Might have been Martin last week. Bought that copy of uh, the with the Obi strip from Japan of Van Halen. But in Europe, I, I, I remember Van Halen. I think on maybe their last tour or the For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge tour, they were opening for Bon Jovi in Europe. How messed up is that? What? I get it now. If you're if you're a Dave guy, you're like, well, first there's the Sammy. But come on, it's still Eddie, Al, Michael, whatever. Uh, Super Tramp, uh, that was $14. REO Speedwagon, 14 live album. Cat Stevens, that was nine. Elton John, nine as well. Styx, nine for the Grand Illusion. Uncle Ted, nine. We had Yes for nine as well. The Moody Blues for nine. The Banana Rama single, very cool. That is, that, that picture is colorful, man. Does that describe the 80s or what, man? That just pops. She looks a little bit, they look like they're from like Debbie Harry, Jane Weedlin, and maybe a young Samantha Fox. How about that? I know that's not them, but if there was ever a super group from the, uh, from the eighties that wanted to reproduce uh, banana Rama, it would be uh, those three, Debbie Harry, Jane Weedlin from the Go-Go's and Samantha Fox. Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. That was $9. This was Tim Da promo copy. That was uh, $5. No, wait, that's $9. Uh, Share, nine dollars. Stevie Wonder for five. Dream Evil from Ronnie James Dio, forty nine dollars for. Hard record to find because it's from uh, what year did this come out? Was it eighty seven? Eighty seven. Me thinks eighty seven. This is a club pressing too. I forgot to mention that. Craig Goldie's on guitar here, uh, and club pressings in the eighties. Don't know why, but club pressings sounded better. Overall, than um, the originals that were done by the record companies. I don't know. Maybe it's just about changing those plates out in, in some ways. This is the last in line. This is $49. I don't think this was a club pressing. Doesn't look like it. But, um, yeah, that's a great record. I uh, I love Last in Line. That song, man, it just, it just wails. You know, just a slow start. Da, 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 and then just, boom, it hits you like a ton of bricks. Um, Eric. Uh, 
Back for the attack. Do we have back for the attack in here? <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> Sorry, my chat's not working. Jen's tech. tech Talking back for the attack. I think we might have a. Do we still have a copy of back for the attack from last week? I think we've got some one. Uh, we've got a copy of D Bad Doc and Back. Um, no, that's Tooth and Nail. We have Tooth and Nail. I think we have another copy of Tooth and Nail coming up as well. So, but anyways, um, and then Dio. Which uh, Jason, you wanted the Dio. Which which Dio did you want? Last in line, or did you want uh, Dream Evil? And then Randy, but sticks. Ooh, sticks goes to Randy. All right, cool. Uh, let's see here. Let me find the sticks record. Well, it's never where I think it is. It's right there, I bet. Come on, man. It just won't play ball for me. It won't play. Oh, there it is. Boom. All right, Randy grabs the sticks record. Thank you. Uh, Jason wanted the, the last in line. Yes, I concur indubitably. That would have been my choice. Nothing against Dream Evil. Nothing against Dream Evil. Uh, the last in line goes to uh, Jason. All right, cool. Thank you. And then we had some Gordon Lightfoot. $5 for Gordon. More Gordon, $5. More Gordon, $5. Uh, what do we got on the wall uh, back there? We got Faster Pussycat for $59. That's an OG pressing of Faster Pussycat. We've got the 7-inch picture disc uh, from Up, which is super cool. That's $89. And then over there, we've got uh, Tim Bellion. Not too familiar with them. It's a, it's a white vinyl. It's kind of a more of a modern artist, and that's $129. Uh, more Gordon Lightfoot, and finally, the last in line was Gordon Lightfoot. There you go. Cool. Uh, and then, yeah, the Van Halen 24-karat disc. If you're a CD aficionado, that's 129 All right, let me switch this out here. And whoops. Grab these. Whoa. That was almost a full paw. Thank you. All right, so did you hear the news about James Hetfield today? Got some Metallica back in stock, so it's good. a little torn on the shrink wrap, but it's a brand new copy. This is Reload. Uh, this is actually a deal, I, I will tell you. I will reveal this to you because we haven't repriced it. They've repriced these records now for $39 retail. I kid you not. This is $29. We still have it at $29. So if you're finding a copy in another store or online, you're probably going to be paying $39. Just an FYI, no pressure. Uh, Fuel, I, I do love this record. So good. But uh, better than you. That's fantastic. $29 for a reload. But James Hetfield, apparently when Lemmy died from Motorhead, he uh, they sent out bullets of his remains to certain different people. And James Hetfield, a big Lemmy fan from uh, a Motorhead fan, got a bullet full of Lemmy's ashes. Yeah, okay, whatever. I get it. And James just had a uh, just a tattoo on his knuckle, I think, right right about there, uh, of the Motorhead logo, and they put Lemmy's ashes into the tattoo ink. So I don't know if you'll find that creepy or not, but I, th I found it ironic since we got some Metallica back in stock. This is St. Anger, $29 as well for St. Anger. I know a lot of people are torn on this record. I, I do like some of it. I like the title track. I think the title track whales for what it's worth. Uh, and this is load. Once again, this is underpriced, $29, uh, new retail price out there because uh, the record company's Warner Brothers has raised the price on this, is now $39 retail. Um, Jason, will say Reload and Martin would like St. All right, cool. All right, so Jason grabs Reload, Martin grabs St. Anger. Thank you, gentlemen. Fantastic. And then, uh, yeah, we got uh, load there if you're interested. Uh, Tool, speak of the devil and he shall appear. Maynard J. Krebs, Maynard J. Krebs, Maynard, <laughs> Maynard J. James uh, Keenan, his birthday today, celebrating it here in uh, Phoenix with a live show with Perfect Circle and also Pucifer and Primus. But this is Tool and this is Undertow. I got a buddy of mine, who's a buddy up in Minneapolis. He works for Target in like cybersecurity. Really smart guy, really cool guy. He loves himself, Tool. And I told him, uh, like last week, I said, I'm kind of finally getting into Tool. And he's like, Maynard eventually gets everyone. I'm like, okay, I give, I get it there. So Dave wants load. All right, cool. Dave grabs load. All right, cool. Dave, thank you. Let me uh, run those over there. 
Um, and then we've got Tool. This is Lateralis. Lateralis. This is forty three ninety nine. Another kind of fantastic record, and that is obviously Undertow from Tool. If you're interested, and then finally, this is Journey's Greatest Hits. That's forty four ninety nine. Sixteen classics on two LP, including uh, "When You Love a Woman," which they recorded later on. I actually heard today as well that. 800 weeks, 800 weeks is the amount of time that um, that album has been on the Billboard charts. It is now kind of close to Bob Marley Legend, which has been on there uh, 800 weeks as well. And then Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, forget about it. That's just in a league by itself. Oh, and then the Eagles one's pretty close too, I guess. So Journey's Greatest Hits, Eagles' Greatest Hits, Bob Marley's Greatest Hits, Legend, and then finally, Pink Floyd, Standalone, Dark Side of the Moon. We just still do have copies. I was able to secure a few more copies of the new UV Collector's Edition of Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. That should be here tomorrow. So I'll have those to show to you tomorrow. It's got a cool slip cover. It's got a poster inside. And then it's got two records. It's a double album this time because they only put one record on. They put side one on one record. Then there's the UV print. It's on clear vinyl. And clear vinyl, for what it's worth, is actually probably the most pure vinyl of all of them because of the fact that they don't color it. Black, black uh, vinyl gets colored some way to make it consistently black. But clear is, these days, the way that stuff shows up at the record pressing front. So go figure for what it's worth. Maybe that story is not true. I heard it as an anecdote. I'm not 100% on that one. I might have to do some due diligence myself. So. But that's what I've heard. Clear vinyl, if you're looking for clear vinyl. And Pink Floyd did clear vinyl. And I'm, ah, no, hold your thought, Audrey. <laughs> and anyways, there you go. I'm done. Go ahead, Audrey. Uh, Amy loves Journey. Journey, all right. Well, grab this over here. Very cool. So 801 weeks on the Billboard charts, thanks to Amy and this bad boy. Because we actually report to uh, our, our little record store here in beautiful Gilbert, Arizona, reports to uh, the big wigs when it comes to sales. They didn't used to do that. They used to actually just kind of like guess what record companies or what record stores were selling, but now they're actually getting down to the nitty gritty. So if you buy something from us, it's calculated and then it's credited with new vinyl, not so much older vinyl. They don't do that with older vinyl for whatever reason. I don't know, whatever. All right, next, uh, next crate running out of steam here tonight. I'm talking too much, Audrey. I'm all hyped up. I don't know why I'm so hyped up. I should be tired. Maybe because I'm tired. Jen and I had an early morning this morning, so. <sighs> Anyways, let me take a drink. You do the same. Mine is water from Sam's Club. Not Sam's Club, Walmart. I guess it's called Sam's. Costco, really good water. The, the Walmart water is really good. The Dasani water is really good. Do not care for Aquafina. And I think Audrey would Second that, right? Aquafina water? Uh, she, 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 doesn't really taste the she doesn't taste the difference. Well, Jen would second it for me, right, Danny? Thank you, Danny. All right. Leonard Skinner. That is Street Survivors. $34. VG++ copy. There is some edge wear on this, but obviously this is the cover. That It's the original cover with the flames. And then after the plane crash... Unfortunately, it got pulled, and they they removed the flame. So, yeah. Uh, What's Your Name? That smells on here. Just one of those classic records of all time. That's another band that's probably their greatest hits are probably just perpetually on the uh, Billboard charts. This is Rat. This is uh, $49. It is a, let's see, it is a... it is, oh, the EP. It's in excellent condition. The vinyl is fantastic. Look at that. And this came out like in early 83. What's on here? Let me let me read you the track list on here. There's Sweet Shelter. You think you're tough. You got it. Tell the world back for more and walk in the dog. Finding a copy of this in its pristine condition. There's just a little bit of ring wear. It's fantastic, and the vinyl is excellent. There's a little bit of a little bit of an issue there too. So, anyways, forty nine dollars for Rat. If you're interested in the um, 
in the uh, EP that came out in early 80s. Oh, it came out in 83, and then, yeah, in 84, they released uh, Out of the Cellar. Very nice. This is Tooth and Nail. This is in excellent condition. Beautiful copy. Alone again. Just got lucky. What else is on here that I love? When Heaven Comes Down. Um, Tooth and Nail. The title track's fantastic. And there's some other song on here. What does... Uh, what I know there's another song on here. Just got lucky. When heaven comes down, alone again. Tooth and oh, tooth and nail. That's the song I'm thinking of. So, anyways, Dawkins, state of the art rock, and I love George Lynch. Fantastic um, guitarist. He was one of my favorite guitarists when I was uh, growing up. So, forty nine, uh, thirty nine dollars for this one. It's an excellent copy on the vinyl. So beautiful copy if you're into Dawkins, and you should be because they rule. In my opinion, I know they're dysfunctional, like so many bands, like Rat, they're dysfunctional. It's too bad a lot of these 80s bands are just so dysfunctional. What are you going to do? This is uh, Tejas from ZZ Top. It's $19. The vinyl is in excellent condition. And uh, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. This is our other deal of the night. This is Sacred Heart. This is $29. Vinyl in excellent condition. There's a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of edge wear there, maybe. And there's a little bit, just the tiniest little crease in the lower right-hand corner. But other than that, just a beautiful copy of this record. This is a club edition as well, so it's going to sound really good. So $29 for that record. Journey Escape VG Copy, $14. There you go. Don't stop believing, maybe. Though uh, Audrey says she prefers Frontiers to Escape. Yes, yeah. she confirms that just sure. now. Um, Tom would like docking. Tom wants docking. All right. State of the art rocking. Tom. All right, cool. Tom grab Tom, Tom grabs docking. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it. Jason wants ZZ Top. Jason wants and Journey. That just okay, Jason wants uh, ZZ Top and Journey. Very nice. Larry thinks it's a rat infestation. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, let me grab the rat record there. All right, cool. Thank you, uh, Larry. That's not infestation. So just, just to be sure, Larry, okay. this is the EP. I think I, I was misquoting myself yesterday, uh, not last week, that we had infestation. There is actually a rat album called Infestation. This is not it. This is the EP from 83. This is technically their first record um, before Out of the Cellar, though it's an EP. So just to confirm that with Larry. And then Roger is taking Julie Driscoll. Okay, cool. Very nice. Thank you, uh, Roger. Uh, Whitney Houston. This is $14 VG plus copy of her debut album, Took the World by Storm. And what's this, 86, 87 ish? Very, very awesome record by uh, Whitney, who we lost too young. This is Dolly. This is $14 as well. This is uh, Real Love. Kind of a hard record to find from Dolly. VG plus condition. There you go. Dolly is fantastic, as we all found out during the uh, playoffs last year. And then her rock album that came out that just sold like gangbusters, man. Uh, this is $9, VG++ copy of Aerosmith's, uh, I think this is Draw the Line. Uh, I know a lot of people, maybe this isn't, but Kings and Queens is on this record. And Kings and Queens, if you've never heard that song, that's a banger, man. That's just a fantastic record. Draw the Line as well. Uh, nine dollars VG plus plus copy. That's a good deal. Pointer Sisters. Speaking of um, the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack, I love the Pointer Sisters back in the day. Nine dollars. This I think is a 1984 album as well. It's in excellent condition. It's got Jump on it for my love. There was like three jumps that came out in the span of like 12 months, maybe even nine months. There was a Lover Boy jump. There was Van Halen's jump, and then there was the Pointer Sisters with Jump. Automatic, which is a great song. I'm so excited. Neutron Dance is also on here as well. So there you go. Uh, very underrated group. I love the Pointer Sisters. They deserve all the accolades that are forthcoming for them. Um, Amy wants Whitney Houston. Randy wants Aerosmith. All right. Randy grabs Aerosmith. Oh, I missed one in here. I missed one that uh, my, uh, my, uh, my buddy in the Marines or former Marine, though you're always a Marine, Jeff might enjoy. So that goes to, uh, this goes to Randy, right? Draw the line from Aerosmith. And then Amy grabs Whitney Houston's debut. Thank you. Okay, so here's the one I missed. Sorry about that. It was after the Dio record. 
It's uh, Walt Disney's Lady and the Tramp. It's a picture disc. It's $14. The vinyl is in excellent condition. So, yeah. <laughs> Classic movie. Great deal, in my humble opinion, on um, Lady and the Tramp. And it's, yeah, beautiful condition on this one. So there you go. Sorry about missing that one. This is Ringo Starr, Bad Boy, a VG Plus copy. Um, and it's a promo copy. It's was this? It's nine dollars for Ringo Starr. We actually got those r really cool Beatles turntables and a little uh, carrying case uh, for Record Store Day. So we only got a couple of those in. So if you want one, you better be in line early, Tom. And uh, so there you go, uh, Audrey. You have something for me? Just so I'll take it. <laughs> Do I know my Marines or do I know my Marines? Semper Fi, buddy boy. Thank you very much, Jeff. He grabs lady in the... Was Terry was second? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that, Terry. This is Alice Cooper Killer. It's $9. It's a VG copy. We got more Alice Cooper in here. This is... Oh, I forgot to tease this. We got a lot of Reba tonight. And it's all in fantastic condition, by the way. So if you love Reba... We got some 80s albums for you. It doesn't have, it, we don't have the fancy one. Remember the one from like 1990 when she put out that song Fancy, which was probably her best song in my humble opinion. Anyways, this is, uh, this is also Alice Cooper, VG Condition, $9. And here we go. Miss Reba McIntyre. Look at that uh, beautiful young redhead. That is, uh, that is $9. The vinyl is in excellent condition. The jacket is beautiful. There you go. More Reba, $9. The vinyl in excellent condition. The jacket is beautiful. Yeah. More Reba, $9. This is a VG Plus copy. You can get them all. We've got six of them in total. Unlimited from Reba. Very nice. I know this is a popular record of hers. $9. I wonder how many albums Reba has put out over the years. I bet it's close to 50 you know, some of these country music stars, man, they just cranked out albums. You know, some of these, even in the 70s, some some rock artists were putting out two albums a year, you know. You go on a six-month tour, you go into the studio, you record, boom, back out on the road. Uh, but, yeah, so this is Reba McIntyre Unlimited. Excellent copy of this one. That is $9. Uh, this is $9 as well, behind the scene from Reba, VG++ copy. And then, finally, we have just a little love from Reba, $9. VG Plus for Reba McIntyre. That looks very 83-ish. 83. Let's see what year that came out. See if I can read the copyright. Oh, 84. But I bet 100 bucks says that picture was taken in 83. I know my 80s hairstyles cold. When it comes to the lovely young ladies that grew up in the 80s, yeah, I know what year it was. Because I lived it. Genesis, Abacab, $5, VG plus copy. We've got Diana Ross and the Supremes. This is the anthology. It's $5. VG copy. Got some ring wear on the jacket. Marvin Gaye, I Want You, $5. VG copy. Very nice. We got a little Bachman Turner Overdrive. I never knew that uh, Randy Bachman was in uh, the Guess Who. I found that out recently along with Burton Cummings. I don't know. For some reason, I didn't know that. This is a VG copy. It is $5. Does it have uh, the big song on here? You ain't seen nothing yet? Yep, ain't seen nothing. Taking care of business as well. Let it ride. Very nice. Beautiful. Did you put some aside? Did I put some stuff aside? Oh, yeah, I yeah, did. I hate you. Yeah, the Lady in the oh, Tramp, right. the Whitney, and the uh, Aerosmith. Okay. April Wine. I love these guys. Very underrated. VG copy. First glance. Um, rollers on here. It, 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 you know, it starts with roller for me, and anything else is just is just uh, basically that's the turkey, and anything else is like the stuffing mashed potatoes. I don't know why I'm making a Thanksgiving reference in the middle of April, but what do you got to do? Um, can you grab uh, Alice Cooper for Randy? Randy? Which Alice Cooper? We have two. We have the killer, and then we have, uh, and we have uh, love it to death. So, let me know once you know. That is four and four of VG copy. It's got some staining here, 
So somebody spilled some coffee or something while they were listening to Jukebox Hero, realizing what a great song that was. So it's $5 only. So there you go. Very nice. The Doobie Brothers. This is Minute by Minute. VG Copy for $5. Yeah, I know that guy. Michael McDonald. Did you know that Michael McDonald helped write the only time Van Halen used an outside songwriter? Helped write All Wait. Well, that didn't work out. I should have flipped it the other way. So there you go. Yeah, Michael McDonald contributed, gets a songwriting credit on All White by Van Halen, the only non-member, quote-unquote, of Van Halen that ever got a songwriting credit outside of Van Halen. And then finally, we've got REO Speedwagon. That's nine lives, $5, BG plus copy. We'll recap this bin really quick, and then we'll uh, do the uh, the first bin of the night because the first bin of the night is always the uh, fun one. And then uh, we'll jump out of here. And Audrey and I got a lot of work to do. Jen has been doing all the work on the back end, putting all these record store day titles into our system for the point of sale. So you can, we can use a little sale, point of sale gun and go dunk, 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 and make it nice and quick for you. And then on uh, same with Saturday morning. Uh, but yeah, a lot of work still to be done. So um, there you go. Randy wants love it to death. Love it to death for Randy. Okay, cool. Randy, I'll grab love it to death for you. All right, cool. Randy grabs, love it to death. So this was uh, Leonard Skinner for 34, Dio 29 for Sacred Heart, Dolly 14, The Pointer Sisters 9, Ringo Starr was 9, Alice Cooper was 9, that was Reba for 9. All these Rebas are 9. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's got to be like 84, 85. And then there you go. Was that the same one I was saying? I don't know. Uh, Genesis for $5. Diana Ross. I see a lot of uh, Genesis Abacab come in the store. I don't know why that is, but it's one of those things. Marvin Gaye, $5. Best of BTO, that's $5. April Wine for 5 Four and four is 5 Got some staining on the cover. VG Copy. And then the Doobie Brothers with Michael McDonald, 5 and then REL Speedwagon is five as well. So let me flip this one out. So we only had the restocks. We only had two left. We have the tool record, Undertow, and then Lateralis. It's Maynard's birthday, man. Can I get uh, can I get a little uh, tool love tonight? Wait, um, that sounded wrong. Uh, Mike wants uh, Alice Cooper the killer. All right, Mike grabs Alice Cooper killer. Got some ring wear there, Mike. VG copy. All right, pull that for Mike. Thank you, sir. And then let's uh, run through this bad boy one more time. Uh, we bought a number of collections in the last uh, week, over the weekend again. We're still processing it. <laughs> so we're going to have a big crate of new vinyl restocks tomorrow night, but we're also going to have some killer stuff that's kind of backing up in the back. Uh, hopefully I can get a lot of it out here in the next... Uh, Oh, I don't know, in the next, probably by tomorrow night, hopefully. And then uh, we got some Wasp coming up tomorrow night. We've got the Van Halen, not the Van Halen, the Sammy Hagar record that is signed. It's an autographed copy of Standing Hampton. I was going to run it tonight that I forgot, but I wanted to give everybody access so they can look up the autograph because the autograph has been authenticated. So when I put the uh, notice out for tomorrow's night's show, I will include the information so you can actually go to the link on the uh, authenticator who authenticated the autograph uh, for the Sammy Hagar record of Standing Hampton. So that's coming up tomorrow night. I know Mike was uh, interested in that potentially. So um, uh, not 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 Mike, Mike, but the other Mike. And uh, yeah, I don't see Mike commenting here tonight. Mike and Paula. So saw them in the store on Saturday. I think it was Saturday or was it Sunday? Anyway, it's good to see you guys. All right, one more time. Van Halen European Press, $59. This vinyl is in excellent condition. It The jacket is fantastic, so there you go. Super Tramp, that was $14. VG Copy. REO Speedwagon, VG++, plus plus fourteen. dollars Cat Stevens for 9 VG Copy. Elton John, $9. I should pull, I should randomly pull. Let me see. I'm going to walk over here. Sometimes my... Uh, my voice still is disappearing on me. Let's see if I can pull something cool out of the, uh, who is that? Oh, okay. I found this. This is pretty cool. This is a record store day 
uh, thing I wanted to preview. That is, uh, speaking of Primus, who's playing with Pucifer and uh, and a perfect circle tonight to celebrate Maynard's birthday, that's coming up on Saturday. It's the, uh, and this is when Alex, uh, Alex Lifeson and Getty Lee showed up for this too. It's the tw uh, South Park 25th anniversary. It's a three LP set. It is, it is so cool. I love the cover. It's on Tully blue wax as well. So there you go. You kind of see it there. So sorry to tease, but uh, most all of our record store day stuff is in now. And I'm always like, uh, you know, I don't think I'd be interested in it. And then you see it and it's just like, yeah, wow. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, Cat Scratch Fever, Ted Nugent was uh, $9. Uh, yes was $9. Moody Blues was 9 A Banana Rama. That's such a beautiful cover. That, that The colors, man. 80s had the best colors. Am I right, Audrey, or am I right? Yeah, she said I'm right. Uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Wait, there's no Young on this. That's $9. Um, Tim Daw for 9 Glenn wants Elton John. Cool. If I knew where that Elton John was that we had for record store day, Caribou, I'd, I'd, I'd go grab it and show it to you, Glenn, because it's it's pretty sexy, if you ask me. I got to find the Elton John. Anyways, it's probably in here somewhere. We'll find it. Uh, that is uh, Tim Daw for nine dollars. Share for nine. That is uh, Stevie Wonder for five. Dio, Dream Evil for 49 Excellent condition on the vinyl here. And the jacket is tip top. Gordon Lightfoot for five. More Gordon Lightfoot. Um, Gordon Lightfoot again. I'm thinking Gordon Lightfoot and um, could really have a good party with Gordon Lightfoot and Reba McIntyre tonight. Be kind of mellow, I guess, in some ways. And then more Gordon Lightfoot. So I'm looking for the Elton John, huh? Let's see if I can find that really quick. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think I'm looking in the wrong crate here, Audrey. Oh, well. Probably right in the front. There it is. I knew it. I'll put that off to the side there. Let me see if I can find anything else uh, in the record store day stuff to show you that's in here that uh, might tickle your fancy. Let's see here. Um, who is that? Oh, this is cool. This is a record store day. Frank Zappa for president, man. Register and vote. This is uh, first time on vinyl, it says. 2LP splatter vinyl with silk screen image. Was that great or what, huh? <laughs> Got the cigarette. That's awesome. Anyway, so another, uh, another example of uh, some of the stuff that's going to be here on Saturday, and yeah, a lot of cool stuff. We got so many crates. This is going to be our biggest record store day ever. Oh, Crosby uh, still is in Young, not Young, Nash sold as well. So Mike grabs that. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Anyway, so there you go. All right. I think that's it for the night. Tomorrow night, I know we have Wasp coming up. Um, we have some other stuff. Just need to get to it. Um, the, the, there'll be the Sammy Hagar autograph. At the same time, we'll also have the um, Matt Sorum from Guns N' Roses. Use your Illusion 1, use your Illusion 2. Some of the subsequent tours there. We'll have an autographed drum head from Matt in the uh, show tomorrow night. Now, that one isn't authenticated. However, I will vouch because we bought the uh, Sammy Hagar and the Matt Sorum stuff from a young man who is a huge collector and he's a huge collector of autograph material. So he does his due diligence. He just had extra copies that he'd acquired, he had acquired over the years. And it's like, oh, I realize I've got two standing Hamptons and I've got two uh, autograph copies by Sammy Hagar. And he's like, you interested in one? I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then the, and then the, um, the Matt Sorum one. But yeah, that one hasn't been authenticated, but I've looked at the signature online because you can find official signatures kind of by people who do this and it's, it's dead on, man. So there you go. So if you're interested, if you're a big Guns N' Roses fan, who isn't 
It's a Matt Sorum drum head that's autographed. We'll have that tomorrow night as well, uh, along with a bunch of other good stuff. So there you go. I think uh, we're all caught up on everything. I need to take another drink of water if you're drinking at home. Um, we had uh, a young man who comes in the store. He's a big uh, Duran Duran fan like Jen and I. He loves Frank Turner. He loves Rush. Uh, and he brought us uh, whiskey one, uh, maybe a couple months ago. I mean, I've never been for Christmas. It's like his daily drinker. And uh, I busted it out one night. And <laughs> I think it burned the hair off of my um, off of my lips and stuff. I'm just like, holy moly, this is your daily drinker, Jim? And I, it just, yeah, it was just, I was like, whoa. It was like, I got to, I got to, I got to ease into this one, man. I tried to drink it straight instead of on the rocks. And I'm sorry, I need to be on the rocks, guys. So drink them if you got them. Otherwise, uh, a good old, uh, what, what's your favorite drink of all time, Audrey? Like, is it the rock star stuff? Yeah. Is it rock star drinks or is it, uh, mm. it's not, it's not Mountain Dew, I'm pretty okay. sure. No young people like Mountain Dew anymore. Probably go with a straight up sweet tea. Oh, straight up sweet tea. That's always good. Uh, I've never been a sweet tea guy, though. So, but what are you going to do? Anyway, so, all right, cool. So, whenever I go to the store to drop re like drop records off or something, I say, Audrey, I'm going to go uh, pick up something to drink. What do you want? She always uh, goes with Sprite or Dr. Pepper. It's the only I like. Yeah. Dr. Pepper, my niece, uh, who's about six years older than Audrey. She loves, uh, she loves Dr. Pepper as well. That was her drink of choice. So anyways, all right, we're out of here tomorrow night. Uh, promises to be fun as well. Appreciate everybody coming out tonight. If there's anything that you saw on the show that didn't sell, i.e. Mr. Edward Van Halen and company, and you're interested in, uh, if you're interested in it or the faster pussycat right there, you can always, uh, hit us up on DM after the show. If you're watching back on YouTube or Facebook and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, we're out of here. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. And then, uh, yeah, remember on Saturday, it's record store day and then six o'clock tomorrow night, Arizona time. That is nine Eastern eight central and six Pacific. We'll, uh, we'll be back here. Jen, I, and Audrey, thanks to Jen. Thanks to Audrey. And uh, I was doing a great job. And then, uh, yeah, I appreciate you coming out. So take care. Have a good night.